Welcome. I'm your host, Robert Wilson with Cowboy Wisdom Hypnoacuity, presenting seven ways I listen, witness, and feel the serenity of me through inspiration, relaxation. Now, let's take a couple deep breaths. Hold it. Now, let it out. Take a deep breath. This is a poem I wrote. And if I'm reading you the poem, it allow you to relax and feel the calm energy within you flow through you. Inspiration, relaxation. I'm awake and aware of my inspiration, relaxation. Zens, my listening, witnessing, feeling the serenity of me. Color my picturesque scenarios of my inner scenery of pristine peace flow through my arteries of artistry, painting my subconscious scenery with plush prosperity and my lush desired lifestyle, featuring the pageantry of my lush balmy paradises. See how that feel? How do you feel as you listen to that? Just open up to it. See, that's what poetry and this inspiration relaxation is about. Is calming your inner landscape so you can listen to you. See, so you can listen to you, but you hear other people. Listening glistens the genuine love internally streaming, trend-setting, enterprising now. Rolling the dice of my dreamer's intuition, coloring exquisite, spectacular panorama views of my visionary extravaganzas, celebrating inspiration, Relaxation calms my subconscious scenery, streaming canny enlightened nirvana, elegance, rainbows, yazza snazzy, savvy, to realize and esteem. I understand and I admire inspiration, relaxation, instigates now, stimulating plush internal riches, animating trailmaker ingenuity. Inventors now to naturally optimize unfathomable spectaculars of serene serenity to smoothly stream through my inner landscape, lionizing awesome Nirvana deluxe splendorous celebrations, appreciating paradox, paradisical elegant silence, streams intuitive. Lyrical ecstasy, neons, cool effusions of my serene panorama movies of now that I experience in living color as I relish and embellish the here and now with natural, optimistic, wondrous curiosity. See how that just calms you and makes you curious about you? That's the thing about life. You got to open up the curiosity of yourself to calmly unlock regal internal optimism, streamlines, torchbearer, yazza pizzazz, jazzes up my unique understanding to admire serenity of me and my ubiquitous of me, free streaming spirit splendor, inspiration, intuition, images of that excite my imagination of the here and now, Enthuses innate innovative acuity, unleashes my sleek, unique talents to ballet me through life with ease. As I feel, witness, and listen to my inspiration, relaxation, sensing the serenity of me frees me to magically enjoy my life of leisure, instigating festive extravaganzas energizes me to feel freedom, waken my heart and soul splendor, illuminating the universe's airways with serene, pristine peace and prosperity for all my inspiration. Relaxation radiates the serenity of me now and forevermore. I realize and esteem the serenity of me begins within me. And what that is, everything in your life begins within you. The outside world is an instigator, mischief maker, 
to instigate whatever's inside you. And the mischievous universe, the outside sources, they got a unique talent how to in, uh, instigate everything we don't want to see. But when you open up to realize that it's never outside, it's in you, sets you free to understand. I can never think and know and feel the serenity of me at the same time. Think and know stops the flowing serenity and all energy of your intuition, imagination, innovation, intuition, thought, uh, revelations, and something I've really awakened to. And I've learned to write it in poetry in first person. I stopped the outside world from controlling me to understanding if it's out here, it's within me. So I set myself free from me. I liberate me from me. That is the simplest and most liberating phrase in the world. Once I understand that, the only one that can do anything to me is me. So I set myself free from me. And that's what this is. When relaxation comes over, feeling the serenity of me streams every day riches naturally enjoying today. See, we've never opened ourselves up to understand all the frustration, hate, anger, and all the uh, negativity in the world is asking you and me to rise and open up to our own inspiration, relaxation, and the serenity of ourselves to rise the world out of all the anger, hate, and frustration because there are zero governments, zero leaders in the world that can do it. Individuals do it. It's like all the negativity in the world is within me. So when I realize negativity naturally engages galvanizing, adventurous, transcending, intuitive, visionary energy, I rise out of me. See, we're trying to raise the world up through laws and regulation. All that does is strangle the world back into yesterday. So something I've really opened up to, everybody on this earth today was sent here by the outside sources, God, whatever, to rise the world to peace. But however, before we can get to engaging in the peace, we're introduced to all the hate, anger, and frustration of the world and then we teach ourselves. And see, that's something else I really want to express to you. Everything you think you learned is really you teach yourself. I taught myself all the burping BS to be stressed out about everything. Never again. Now I begin. Now I won with wisdom, insight, clarity, listening for the re inspiration, relaxation of the serenity of me matures enterprising wizardry to set me free to be on my trails of triumph. You see, here's the only person that can show for you to your trails of triumph and your bountiful peace and riches is you. I had to go through this and it's been about three years now. Once you rise to understand everything you think is going on in the outside world is in here. And I've learned, I opened up in about, oh, about a month and a half to, I communicate with the world from right here and right there, but I communicate from here. So if I want to communicate the celebrations of my life, I stop telling the world what to do. And I got a, um, a YouTube coming out tomorrow called, I Stop Telling the World to Listen to Me to Set Me in the World Free. See, if everybody liberates themselves from themselves and stops staying in the torment of the media, something I've really expanded into, social media is nothing but uh, complain and bellyache and talk about what somebody else does. And, you know, the media is just malarkey excuses condemning everybody. And, you know, here's the thing. I would like the somebody to investigate all them people that know everything on media to see where their personal lives are. Because they talk about everybody else's. Why don't they put theirs out there? So the thing I really want to do to show everybody, 
My inner scenery is clear. Is there some sneering stuff in there? Oh, hell yes. Jeez, nobody's perfect. I'm in, I am athletically imperfect, liberated imperf, imperfection on the stroll through life because imperfections throw me to my outcomes. Perfection is uh, paralyzing de delusions. You know, I, I like watching all these people. Whoa, I did this. I did. And then you go look and listen. A few minutes later, they're going to give you the truth. Whatever somebody says in the moment, listen 10 minutes later and see what they say. You know, I am the biggest screw up in my life. And there, I got a uh, deal. Just go ahead and screw it up because you're going to anyway. Because everything you think and know leads you to the screw up. Everything you understand that you that is beyond your thinking and knowing will liberate you and send you to the promised land. And that's happened to me so many times. I get a kick out of this looking back now because I can laugh at me. I'm free. You know, I used to be one. Of, it has to be this way. By God, I'm going to do it. We're going to do it. And then about halfway through, you got to go, ooh, this really sucks. Remember that idea you had? Let's go do it. The more you know, the less you go. The more you listen, the more you glisten with genuine, liberating, intuitive savvy, tantalizing, everyday nirvana. That is something I've, I've had to eat so much crow on that. The crows got scared to come around. You know, the more I know, and, and when you get into something and you have to have it your way, how many times does it blow up on you? Every time for me. But you know one thing I like about that? When I can admit it to get rid of it, awaken to it, I can appreciate me to be free and energize the wisdom within me moves me forward in a bold, bright way. The only one that can rise you out of where you're at is you. And you're never going to rise out of where you're at by listening to somebody else's program or hearing somebody else's program. When somebody says they got a program for you, that program is their limitations. Because wisdom, inspiration, intuition is all free-flowing energy, and there is no programming. Programming is what's got the world to where it's at. And it's through education, everything. And as we're a young person, we were taught to stay and do what we were told. Well, then that become a habit. When you stop telling people what to do and stop being told what to do, to listen for the wisdom, insight, and clarity that's going to rise you out of your current situation. Give yourself permission to rise. With a risk taker's intuition, streaming emancipating elegance to dance you through life. You always want to be dancing through life. Don't that feel free? I, and see, what I'm really saying, the only limitation, blockage, barrier you have is you. I still have them. Every day is a dance with liberation. A dance with liberation, letting go internally, boldly energizing, rebellious audacity. Tantalizing internal optimism now and forevermore. And see, that was easy. Is there a better way? Them two state statements right there are affirmations. Whenever you get done with something, that was easy. And before you start, is there a better way? Because I've gotten, oh man, pick me, I'm the worst. My stubborn and hard headedness, it was unique to me. And did it keep me being unique to me, deceiving me, but that's okay because I let it go today. So you've got to make fun of life. Life is laughter, inter laughing internally, feeling energetic externally. Whatever's going on in the outside world is right there. You know, when I really opened up to accept the responsibility and accountability to face and embrace my life with a facilitator's foresight and a participant prowess, I wowed me away from everything. And now as you open up to listen and you're expanded out of yesterday and rose to your revolutionary optimism unleashing uh, sightseer's energy, you get to witness the world as a tourist. See, life we're the tourists of life. 
We're on a safari every day. But we stay so stuck in yesterday that we stay with the alligators and we wrestle with them as they try to do what they do best. And that's to put us to the test to see if we have the ingenuity and innovation to get away from the alligator of anger and all the rattlesnakes of uh, despair. Whatever you're trying to get away from or out of and rise out of, you have it in here. There's nothing out here for you. But you listen to your everyday life. Don't get involved with all the stuff that's going on. Listen for the wisdom, insight, clarity, understanding, whatever is in there to rise you out of your current situation. Change, heal, create, transformation, forgiveness is straight across the board. All you're doing is rerunning the many movies of making fun of, yours, of the mark of yourself. I've done that for a long time. Hell, let's be honest, I still do. You know, that's what's fun now. I can make fun of myself. I can do this. But what I am is liberated internally. And if somebody don't like it, they take a long walk on a short plank, go plank in the pile of bourbon, whatever. The only one that can make liberate me from me is me. And the only one that has any uh, input to the outcome is me. But I can listen to the universe and all the people and listen to their innovative wizardry and helps me expand out of yesterday. We're so stuck in ourselves that it's unbelievable and unfathomable. But my re inspiration relaxations Listening to the serenity of me magically energizes me to set myself free from me. That's all you're really doing in all of this. And you know, when your parents or somebody's strangling you with that, that's the thing. Parents have to let their kids go and make mistakes. That's the way they learn. Mine did, and then they laughed at me. You know, they were supposed to love me, but they laughed at me. I laughed at myself. You know, the thing about life, it's hilarious. But when you get to watching people and they're so serious, then it's fun to give that little seriousness a little poke. You poke them a little bit, then watch them go. Then you sit there and smile. You know, there's nothing wrong with humor. You've got to have humor in this world. This world is so... Stuck in selfishness, cheapness, and arrogance will never move forward. So if you think you're better than somebody and you know more than somebody, the loser in your life is you. Because I don't care if, especially an old person standing on the street, they have wisdom for you. And there was nothing better than sitting down and talking with a rancher. When I was younger and I lived in Wyoming, I loved going uptown finding a rancher that's, you know, an elderly rancher, sit down and talk to them because they could tell you some stories. And what's really, what's really unique is they live them stories, but they was always forthright. See, that's the thing about farming, ranching, them people. Everything was forthright. And if they didn't like you, they told you. If they liked it, they told you. But farming and ranching have an integral wisdom you can never get anywhere else. And see, computers and books will never have integral wisdom. They'll have what somebody else wants you to know knowledge, but they'll never have intricate wisdom, insight, and clarity. And they have to have a unique uh, intuition because when you're dealing with the Wyoming weather, the South Dakota weather in the wintertime, you better be astute because it's going to pollute you with some unsavory weather. You know, it was fun that one day we was out moving a drilling rig and it was 60 below zero wind chill. That was refreshing. But you, the thing is, they had a what they call a spud date. They had to be six foot in the ground by midnight. And and we was out there moving the rig. But you know, the thing about it, it took us about seven hours. Once it was over, it was done. The unsavory stuff never lasts. But your classy, sovereign... Uh, 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 savvy will last and 
uh, stroll you through life. So when you have that inspiration, relaxation, understanding and witnessing the serenity of you, you have a calm, smooth pathway to your land of dreamers' paradises. The only one that can stroll you through life or chauffeur you through life with ease is you. And thinking and knowing and trying to live inside self-help, personal growth, self-improvement, psychology, and the education system, it's all good. But it'll never let you into the land of calm, cool, collective, showing the world your sassy, classy sex appeal. Only one that can do that is you. And I want to thank you. I am Robert A. Wilson with Cowboy Wisdom, Hypnoacuity. And hypnoacuity takes the drama and trauma out of life expansion. A sovereign expansion, pure liberation, uh, politically incorrect inspiration and cowboy wisdom with an outlaw optimism to rise you out of thinking and knowing, to understand you are the class of your life. And my website's mycowboywisdom.com. My email's robert at mycowboywisdom.com. And may your life be as blessed as you are a blessing to me in the world.